He spent six hours upside down and mostly underwater praying help would come, and it did, finally. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Shamertz. I'm Quinicia Fraser. This crash survivor says a long talk with God helped him get through it until first responders could get him out. KETV Newswatch 7's Maddie Augustine has the exclusive from Lincoln. For the fracture that I had, I was only like maybe half a, a half a centimeter away from not being able to walk again. 27 year old Dalton Solonica's neck and back are both fractured but he's just glad to be alive after spending six hours trapped upside down in his SUV. I didn't know what I was going to do. I just started screaming. I screamed for like two hours straight. Solonica says he was driving home from work around two in the morning when he swerved to avoid a deer. I started, I started flipping and then when I was flipping, I ended up flipping and then I flipped down into that, that gorge. Landing upside down in Dead Man's Run near 29th and Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. The only thing that wasn't sub submerged in water was my head. Solnica says his faith. I just kept relying on the Lord's prayer. And a sign from his grandpa. He's always putting dimes in places just to show, just to show him that we're still there. When I was laying there, there was a dime right in front of my face in the water. I was just looking at it. Gave him the strength to keep fighting. Something told me to be patient, and I was patient. Just before 8 a.m. Tuesday, workers at a nearby business heard Solonica's cries for help and called 911. And I'm thankful that I'm still alive. When help arrived, they found Solonica's Bible resting on the hilltop above Dead Man's Run. It truly is a miracle, but like God said, it's not my time to go yet. From here on out. What I do in my life now it has to have meaning to it because I gave you this opportunity. You heard Solonica mention how close he was to being paralyzed. He says he is able to walk again, but he has a long way to go. And he's going to have a lot of medical bills. We included a link to his donation fund in this story at KETV.com. Back to you. Incredible story. Thank you, Maddie.